now I won't will be going through the tabs above here to give you an overview and in the next tutorial we get a uh, deep and build our first fixture. So here you can type in the manufacturer's name of the fixture, so you can type in the name of the fixture, here you can type in the long name of a fixture and the short name. Here you get an ID, the type ID which will come from the GTTF itself. If you click on the E for information and on the second E you get to the GDTF wiki and you can read some more about that. I'm not quite sure what all these things are at the moment. Maybe I figure it will figure it out in a later tutorial. So what might be important here you can give a own description. Here you can put in some information you might get from the manual of the fixture. This is the first thing and you can upload a, a picture, an image of the fixture. The next uh, tab above here, you can click directly on it or you can click here the next button and it will switch to the next one. Here you get um, the 3D geometry because the GDTF files are also used in the 3D visual visualizations. You um, Here you can rotate around your parken. The parken consists of a body and a beam. The beam is the lens for example or maybe the LEDs in this kind of fixture. You can uh, add some more geometries which are uh, more necessary if, for example, in the moving light, we get to that in another tutorial. The one you select, you can get type in the information right, right below here. The length, the width, the height, and in the beam one, you can also get the power the luminous flux, the color temperature, if it's a wash or beam, the angle, the CRI information you can type in right here. The next thing is the physical description. I click on to next and here you can add in emitters which for example could be the LEDs which are in there. You can here add a new one. Here you have the emitter. You can type for example, LED red, and here you can could pick a color, but I would only do this if I have the right information from the distributor of the LED, because um, these things are used. Um, here you can show the range which the LED can manage. It could be a smaller range. Not all the LED fixtures will go to the farthest ends of all this um, color scheme. So in here you could add for every um, emitter part, for example, you could add these ones. I'm sorry, and fill it with the right informations if you have them. Uh, unluckily, uh, the most manuals I looked up, these informations aren't provided in at the moment. So, but you can also get um, delete this. They are not necessary to build the fixture. It's quite. It would be quite nice if you have these. And if uh, you have these informations in every fixture file, 
you have then you could then the idea is if you um, take the for example the red of the fixture with the nearest color range um, and uh, all the other fixtures would try to make the same red so you don't have to manage it yourself i hope you get the point here you can add filters that could be cmy flex for example um, it's the same thing you tap the name but you have to get the information from somewhere or well, else leave this open the third thing is the connectors that's quite nice here you could add a connector for example you could add, name it dmx free pin female oh, i'm so sorry female and here you could pick the right one Yes, ah, here you could. Um, the, I think this is meant if you don't have an, um, you have a cable which is pulled out of the um, fixture. Normally you have that more on, um, on power supplies and sometimes you have that on um, fixtures which are waterproofed. Um, and here you could also put in some enable power consumptions maybe the the lowest voltage your fixture can handle and the highest voltage and also the frequency and here you could add in the power consumption which it will take that this makes no sense on an uh, dmx connector but for example you could add a connector and here you could say maybe power con in and here you have the power con blue it's this is a universal i think and here now now this makes sense and you could type in 60 watts for example so you get the point i hope so um the next part is a wheel part which makes no sense on an led fixture but if you have a moving light you could add a wheel um, and you could put in different wheel slots and for example you could in red green blue and then you could pick a color. I thought it would be blue. Let's do it another way. So you could also put in gobos here and upload some um, pictures of them. You get the point. So the next thing is the DMX and I think I would skip this part because I will go get into this in the next tutorial. Here you can add some macros but they are only um, depending on the channels of the fixture it's not like um, you can make a reference preset which comes out of a macro on the last part you have a summary in which you can see everything you did and after the summary you could click next and then you could upload it to the gttf share 
click cancel here uh, you can always go back to every part you would like to add something and you can also go to the home button and that's it for the first tutorial here's the last session i could restore i hope you enjoyed it and i promise the next tutorial will be a bit more interesting there we'll start with the first led par fixture see you then bye